thanks for joining me in the HR 180 garden. Um, I've been asked to do a blog and I thought I don't want to be in a stuffy office so I thought I'd come out to the HR 180 garden, enjoy the view and give you a bit of a vlog on uh, conflict and how to manage conflict. As it's a Friday I'm in my casuals so you have a, me a little bit more relaxed than normal and as it's my first vlog please bear with me I do look down at my notes a little bit but I'll try my best. So this vlog will look at how we how we com how line managers deal with conflict and how we can um, make sure conflict um, is handled in the best possible way. Conflict is inevitable. Any organisation will have conflict, however good or bad the organisation. Um, and we will allow and it allows the team to grow. Before conflict arises, we encourage our line managers to build open, honest communication and build an, a really true open door policy. When we talk about an open door policy, what we're saying is that the manager is there to listen to their staff and to understand their needs and their requirements. By actually listening and understanding what they are, what they need out of a job role, you will, should be able to see if there is conflict or they're upset in some way. The world is changing. More and more of us living, uh, are working uh, more and more hours. We're living alone, so more interaction is done at work than is done um, at home. Therefore, our work colleagues are the people that we spend more and more time with. This, however, may escalate to conflict um, and understanding how to obviously manage that um, and move forward with it is key to a line manager or a manager's responsibility. So what can you do as a manager to, to resolve conflict? Obviously, you've listened to your staff. Um, we would encourage you, if you do see staff that are unhappy in some way, that you actually com communicate to them. Ask them if there's something wrong, if there is a bit of conflict with other work colleagues. And if there is, see what we can do to resolve it. Don't wait for them to come to you. If you can go to them, they will, uh, they will see that you're there for you, them and you understand what they require out of the role. If, however, your team comes to you and says that they have a conflict, you need to listen to them, understand their point of view, but also listen to the other party. Conflict will usually come between two or, two or more people, so please make sure when you're doing it, you're unbiased. You're listening to all sides of the story and ask open-ended questions. These are the how, what, where, why and when, so these um, require answers that are not yes and no. A couple of really good questions to ask is, how would you deal with that situation um, and how would that make you feel? By asking those questions, it will solicit a, a, solicit a better response from your employees. Sometimes conflict does escalate and sometimes the best course of action is mediation. If mediation's a route that you want to take, please give us a shout. We're quite happy to do that for you. Um, it is part of our skill set here at HR 180. Otherwise, I have done a blog um, in two thousand, early 2018. I did a blog on conflict um, and mediation. Feel free to have a look. It is on the HR180 website, hr180.co.uk, or on my personal uh, LinkedIn account, which is tim.3. Thanks very much for your time. I hope you uh, enjoyed the vlog.